411 Mackay Street. Exterior looks recently painted. Landscaping is uh, strictly desert, as you can see all the rock. Windows do have these uh, aluminum awnings. Guard gate door in the front. Home is priced at 170000 It is built in 1990. It is 1,413 square feet. Three bedrooms. Uh, two bath. Lot size is 6,534. We have wood laminate flooring throughout most of the home as you can see. It's in pretty good condition. However, the home does need a paint job. As we enter, to the left are the bedrooms. And straight ahead, they've uh, built a what's called a Nevada room. Uh, they've enclosed part of the yard. We'll go take a look at that in a second. The kitchen's back there as well. Nice high ceilings. So let's go to the bedrooms first. We have our, our first guest bedroom here, which faces the front of the home. It does have a ceiling fan. Wood laminate flooring continues. This room does have a uh, walk-in closet, as do all the bedrooms, I believe. Not the biggest, but it is a walk-in. You already have the vertical blinds on the window. Bedroom number two, ceiling fan as well. Wood laminate flooring continues. You do have blinds on this window, but uh, Oh yeah, it's in decent condition. I think it's acceptable. Walk-in closet as well. Same size as the other room. And then you have your guest bathroom here on the way to the master. Shower tub. Looks recently caulked, so that's a good thing. Uh, looks to be in pretty good condition in the bathroom. Flooring, has laminate flooring here. Uh, decent condition as well, but not the most pleasing design. I'd consider changing this laminate flooring. And maybe the lighting as well. And then to the master bedroom. Ceiling fan again. You have a vaulted ceiling here in the master. And there's a window out here that goes to that Nevada room I was telling you about. And the master bath. They put a ceiling fan in here. I would take that out. And I would also replace the lighting here as well. Dual sinks, faucets look fine. Uh, there's a seat there. I'd consider removing that uh, that seat, leaving the the handrails. Caulking looks to be in pretty good condition as well as the tile work. I actually have actual uh, looks like 14 by 14 tile here in the bathroom, and the wood laminate again in the walk-in closet. And your formal living area, family area, ceiling fan. There are blinds on these windows out to the Nevada room. Kitchen area, eat-in kitchen area right here with a light, which looks new. And you have fluorescent lighting in the main kitchen area there. You have tile counters. 
No refrigerator, which would go right there. Washer dryer area is right here. Washer dryer is present, although it says it's not included with the sale, but it's possible it is. I'm sure we can negotiate that in. Kitchen counters, tile work needs some regrouting, some cleaning, but overall not in horrible condition. We have a pantry. And this is the door out to the garage. Lots of storage here in the garage. As you can see, all these built-in storage units, which is definitely a nice perk to the home. They put a ceiling fan up over there. Automatic garage door opener. Water softener. And then to this Nevada room. So this part portion of the home is an addition to the original. They have a, uh, a what do you call it, a hot tub here. I would have that removed, in all honesty. But uh, you know, that's something to be considered per the home inspection. If it is in good working condition, it may be something to consider to leave. As you can see, they put a uh, single unit air conditioning uh, piece there to keep this area cool. This area is not part of the central HVAC system. But a nice addition, because it definitely uh, gives you more usable space. And let's take a look at the outside. Rear landscaping could use a bit of work. Good size yard though. You have the concrete patio that goes throughout. storage shed back here potentially uh, room there for RV or boat parking there is a uh, swing gate there so rear yard needs to clean up uh, remove dead plants And uh, organizing the rocks, maybe adding a bit more to, to make sure everything's covered. And that's the extent of the home. Uh, it's a decent condition, at least visually, uh, worth considering. I'll run some comps and send you info.